what is up guys so i don't have a proper sitting down video for you guys today so i am going to do a compilation of things that never quite made it for whatever reason <laughs> i do have an unboxing that i never posted because i didn't realize that i was off centered and my face was cut off so i'm gonna post that anyway it's not really that interesting but it's happening there is an unboxing coming soon i have to go and pick it up maybe early next week so thanks for always coming by guys so i'm gonna share with you two things that i have gotten recently one from hermes home and one from ambush which is one of my favorite brands as you guys know i am addicted to dior love dior so much so this item that i got here is from the brand again ambush she is the creative designer for the men's jewelry line so i'm going to unbox this for you here this is going to be my very first ambush piece um actually no second ambush piece i got that nike collaboration jacket she did um i believe last year for fall winter this would be my second piece from her and it is another nike collaboration that she had done so here is the box just a really clean white box all around it did come wrapped where it was just white with the black ambush on it. So we have the box here. So in here in the box we have, this is the receipt, again clean as well. And then we have the dust bag here with the Nike check and the ambush. I'll show it to you guys here. So what I had picked up, and I have already unboxed it to check it out is, the ambush short chain necklace so it ha it is in gold it also came in silver as well there were two lengths there was a short length and a long length i got the short length however i really did think that this was going to be a bracelet but i didn't really read it that well because i just wanted to make sure i got it in my cart and checked out but look how cute it is so it just says ambush nike and the nike check all around it it is such 90s vibes it is made in japan and then on the back side it also of the clasp it also says ambush on it it just gives me such 90s vibes I'm just going to show to you how it looks just because my nails are not, it's going to take me 10 years to put it on if I actually tried. So I actually really love it. Again, it came in the gold and the silver. I decided to have gotten the gold because I have more rose gold jewelry and white gold slash silver jewelry so i thought doing gold to mix it up a little bit with my collection would be fantastic plus i think it will go well with some of the gold chained items that i got from christian dior this item here it did take quite a while to arrive just because it came from japan um, i really wish they made a bracelet if they did i didn't see it on the website but i absolutely love this piece but that was my ambush piece so the next item that i have here is a home item so in some other videos you have seen that i had purchased a couple pillows so this is again another pillow that i have picked up i didn't realize that the new couch that i have gotten was extremely big so the two that i got which was a starter it wasn't enough so i grabbed one more and now i'm thinking i might grab a, another one just because of how the couch is set up it is an l-shaped couch just so you know, my husband and I have L-shaped love. I don't know what it is, but we've had so many L-shaped shaped things. So I got this. It's not the same color as the one that I have gotten, which I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I wanted to try a different color, but in the same style. So according to the sales associate there, this is the newer style with all like the striped lines. I really like it because it has different types of gray. So it has a cream here. It also has, or more like of an ivory, and it has the light heathered grays. Our couch is heather gray. So this will go perfectly with the other pillow that i have I, again i'll insert that video below but i love these pillows they're extremely soft they're a cashmere slash wool blend i even think that i might go ahead and get the throw as well um just because it does get a little bit chilly in the house but it is such a gorgeous pillow i really love it and it goes well 
and it goes well with a lot of the things that we have. I have some other snippets from some other things. Hopefully if it looks good, I can add it into this vlog. But again, thank you so much guys for watching. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to check me out more on what I do day to day, follow me on Instagram. I'm not too sure where exactly that's going to be. Thanks guys. Bye. Sorry it's a little dark. I just got this finally after it's been quite a while. Now I'm going to unroll it. Hopefully it is not that crazy big. We'll see. I forgot to talk about all of these things so if you are any Rilakkuma or Pokemon fan like I am I got a few things as you can tell a lot of them seem to be household things which ended up being prizes so I'll go over it so start from here so this is an Eevee tail and then this is a Pikachu head so basically these are key carabiners so you can see the clasp on here. So that's cute. I'm going to put it on some of my keys because a lot of our car keys, well my size, well my car keys anyways don't have any like hooks or anything. So I'm going to use those too. And I couldn't resist. I love these little headbands for doing your makeup or doing your, um, your, your facial stuff. Cute. It has a little Eevee on it. These three chopsticks here are uh, Kyoto exclusive, so you'll only be able to find these chopsticks at the Rilakkuma Honey Store in Kyoto area right before you hit Bamboo Forest. These, I have like three of these, in the, they're all ice cream themed, but um, like I talked about in my previous vlog, I did lottery prizes so these were some of the prizes that I won um, so I got three of these pouches so that means I did three different lotteries but they're all different ones I was just one shy of getting the whole set this which is like a little Tupperware for lunch it comes with chopsticks as well this was another one for the lottery and I got this style too so I got two of these styles from the lottery so yes I did a lot of lotteries this time and then the last thing I believe I want from the lottery is just this tumbler cup, which is super cute. And then um, my husband won this. It is a mug. This is the lottery for the Pokemon. So I won that fancy Eevee. So this is one of the other prizes as well. Speaking of the Kyoto... Uh, Rilakkuma honey store so that's the only store that also sells like the honeys and the jam so last year I got the blueberry honey and this year I got the strawberry jam um, this is only exclusive to that Kyoto location we got another pair of so these are resting chopstick holders so there's they I got these last year as well so we just got another set so got those and then there's these blind boxes so just these are just super cute things to have there's that one and I got this as well and I got coasters three different faces of Rilakkuma and then super obsessed with this place called Alfred T you can find it I think in um, the US as well so they have pin trolls and if you know me you know that I also love pin troll things so they got the boba 
the Sakura, the Alfred, and a little decal for my luggage. I got this pouch with the coin holder, and honestly, I got it mainly for this coin holder here. And I will explain to you why I got this in another video that I have coming out, but it's super cute. It has different little Rilakkumas on it and the denim Rilakkuma. Just a little clip-on pouch that you can put keys and stuff in it. And the last thing I got is from the Pokemon store. So I have a wedding coming up and I just thought this would be super cute. Cereal. This is cute. <laughs> <laughs> 